So this entire Guru shower system was less than 600 bucks, which is insane because the quality of this is unbelievable. On today's vlog, we're going to talk about how to do your walls, how to make them 100% waterproof with the Guru membrane. <laughs> All right, so everything that you need comes in this box delivered from Two Locker. One other thing is this eighth inch trowel that you can order that did not come in the box, but you have to order it. Um, let me show you what's inside the box first. All right, so we have the sealant that we're going to put around the drains in, in our corners. We have two rolls of membrane for a big shower like this. Also, we have our curve in here. Then we have our actual shower kit itself. Let me show you what's inside this box. So inside this box, we have our beautiful 36 inch linear drain. You can pick what type of finish you want. Um, also, we have the membrane that's going to go on your floor. And we have some extra corners in here. And we have our drain assembly that is needed as well. Let's get to work. All right, so part one is installing our wall membrane. And I like to do the walls first because then I can walk around on this and I don't have to wait for the, uh, the mud job to dry. So we're gonna go with our walls first. I need a nice plumb line here where my, my membrane is going to start off with. We also pre-cut all the four pieces that we're going to need, um, just basically giving ourselves one inch of wiggle room. Now we're going to start installing this. Turn the water off to the house so that we could take these guys out. So then it's easier for us to work with them. We don't have to try to measure that out. We can just put it over and then cut it out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get a wet sponge and go over our drywall and hydrate it. Essentially, what we're going to do is make it a little bit damp, so then when we're putting on our thin layer of thin set, the drywall doesn't just suck out the moisture out of it, so it'll make our thin set stickier for longer. So we're just going to go ahead and make this nice and damp. All right, so our thin set is mixed on the looser side, and just because you want it to be nice and workable, so when you're going to squeeze out the, the air, it flows. If you make it too dense, it's gonna be hard. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to key in our thin set, essentially just back buttering it like, like this. So the purpose is just to give it a little bit of thin set over that um, drywall so then again, it doesn't dry out your thin set when you're actually troweling it out. My eighth inch notch trowel notch trowel, <laughs> trowel to basically apply it. So first thing you're going to do is just get get it on there. Get a nice layer of it on. Don't worry about the, the trowel lines yet. So then once you get got it on, get it on. Um, you're gonna, gonna go like this and then make directional troweling because that is very important. Always directional trowel side to side because then when you go to collapse the ridges and get the air out, you only have to go from the center of the membrane out. So it's not that far of a distance. Bang. My roll here of the membrane. So what I'm gonna do is I have that line that I made in the beginning. I'm going to line up the outside. I'm going to line up the outside uh, edge of this with my line and then kind of with the ceiling here and then very lightly just put it on I'm not trying to collapse the ridges here or anything like that. I just want to line this up right here with the outside And then we're going to start collapsing the ridges and cutting out the valve But see make sure that line is nice first and then you can kind of work it out this way All right, so now I'm going to grab my wooden float and what I'm going to do is just work it out of the center. Nice, even pressure on this. Don't press too hard, but kind of firm. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense or not, but I'm going to basically collapse the middle and then slowly start working out. And you see this wave of air that's going that way. So work the middle out first and then start working your sides. And now that we kind of collapsed it with our wooden float, what I'll take is now get my uh, the other side of the trowel here, 
and then just again work it out you see there's still a little bit of kind of bubbles coming out that way so i'm gonna work it out this way a couple of these and then this edge you just clean up like that and look at it just melt right into it then you can get your sponge clean this up that's ready to go now we're going to continue this over as we're overlapping our uh, seams you have this black line here as your guide so when you trowel out your wall make sure that you're troweling out to that black line all right All right, so I'm getting the air out from this corner piece. What you wanna do is get a wooden float, get nice pressure on that corner, and then get your trowel and just work that off. Because if you just pull on this by itself, it's going to pull the corner, and you don't want that. You want the corner to be nice and firm. Yo, check this out. I was on the ladder and I dropped my trowel and I just voided my lifetime warranty. I'm just kidding. All you have to do is just get a little bit of thin set, put it over it, and then get a patch. You can make this out of scrap, and then just thin set this in place, and then you can keep your Guru Lifetime Warranty. No big deal. was a pain in the ass to do. Um, kind of lo lost all my momentum. So one more piece that we have to install is here and then the little sliver on this side. So I'm going to make a nice level line or a plumb line on this side so that I know exactly how far to trowel out. Like that, make a line and then do exactly what we just did everywhere else. Part of our shower system is these outside and inside corners as well. So here in our system, um, I'm going to put an outside corner right here, another outside corner here, and an outside corner here. And then we have two inside corners that we want to waterproof as well. That's going to go into here and one on the bottom. <laughs> So we're all set for today. Uh, we got all the corners waterproof. This entire shower system here on the walls is now 100% waterproof, which is awesome. On our next part, we're going to focus on our floor, how to make it waterproof and how to do our mud job. I'll see you on that one.